and welcome to yet another episode of How I Spent the Apocalypse. Today, I have my grandson, the Wiz Zeb, with us. Be sure and go look at his YouTube site, right? Yeah. Like your YouTube site? YouTube he made me do that. Club. He gave me a, cra a cracker and said, please plug my YouTube site. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so I bet many of you have heard me call this place Castle Farms, and you're probably wondering why this place is named Castle Farm. Well, the reason why is because, well, I'm sure any of you that are married will understand what this is. I was sitting watching TV one night, fully engrossed in whatever stupid ass shit I was watching and Lynn comes in and she's like hey hey what do you want to name the dairy goat herd I have to get it down I have to give the dairy goat name herd a name before we can register our goats and stuff and I'm like eh, I'm watching TV I'm watching TV she's like hey what 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 do you so I just said let's call it castle farms so we wound up calling the whole place that over the years, but there's a reason I came up with Castle Farms and it, Lynn, damn it Lynn, quit <laughs> taking pictures of my ass, pan over there. This was the first one I built. I built this when my son was a little boy, you know, my son the genius. Zeb is going to show you. It's, it's um, a castle turret. The blocks are what everybody keeps wanting me to show you how to make because we have lived here for 28 years, and until we bought the bed and breakfast, which came with trash service, we had never used trash service. We recycle everything. The stuff that we can't use, use, is basically stuck in the concrete inside these blocks. Now, if you look at the castle over here, the bottom part is made from the recycled blocks. The top part is made from rocks that I got out of bar ditches and then took to um, a car wash and cleaned them and then used them. And if you look at the skulls, the crenellations at the top are covered in skulls. Those skulls I make by uh, taking uh, Halloween baskets that the kids have, those little cheap, at the time was 99 cent, Halloween baskets and I split them in threes, duct tape them together, tape pennies in the eye holes, and then I fill them up with concrete. And when they're dry, I pop them out and use them. So as you can see, there's a, there is a uh, suit of armor in there. That one of the, when I used to sword fight, one of the people, one of the guys I was training actually gave that to me. We've had it ever since. You can see there's murder holes in there, and there's secret compartments and everything else stuck in the walls. And I basically built that for my son to play in. And then if you look, if Lynn will show you, this is a moat. It's not full of water right now because I built this moat because the entire front yard used to flood every time it rained. This is bottom land. So when it rains, it wants to flood. So I built this moat. And then there's a pipe over there that carries the water out to the bar ditch so that this doesn't flood. So it looks better when it's full of water, but it's only full of water right after a flood. Where did the dragon come from? I sculpted the dragon from um, concrete, and then I put used sand mix over the top of it. I tried using masonry mix, and those statues all fell apart. And then if you can look, there's, you know, all of these blocks, some of them have stories. This is from where we went to Silver Dollar City. And this is from where I went to Worldcon in Chicago. And the other ones have different ideas. A lot of it's broken shit that friends of mine and fans would give me to put in the wall once they saw I was doing it. And that's where all the glass hoo-hahs came from. I've bought some of them, but a lot of them were gifts. This one over here was the one I built second. There's Zeb up in the top of it. There's actually a climbing wall, which was a bad idea, but they like it anyway. But I actually built a climbing wall up the back of it using window weights. And as you can see, there's a giant Mogan David in the side of this. Um, 
and if Lynn probably already got a picture of that. So if you look on the inside, you can see that that Mogan Dave is basically nothing but bottles. I got a picture before, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. Damn it, Lynn! Stand right in front of me! But that's what that is. And in the, at Hanukkah, we take uh, lights and stick in there and that lights up. But, um... Yeah, so you can see it's just, and this one is made from all reclaimed rock and brick and shit that people threw away. I don't even have any in here from the bar ditches. It's just stuff that different people threw away from different sites. There's an old piece of railroad iron. There's some railroad spikes. And this is made, this is our, we call this the birdhouse tower. And this tower is made with glass bottles and cement primarily and then I just put birdhouses in it. I want to be careful because one of them's got a um, one of them's got right now has a uh, a nesting pair in it. It has a nesting uh, pair of woodpeckers, woodpeckers in the other side. And you can see up there that I, up on the top is a squirrel's nest in the top of it. And it's just got all kinds of stuff stuck in it. That's what I do. But I made it by taking a cheap plastic barrel, cutting the top and the bottom out of it and using that and filling it up and then moving it and f moving it up and then filling it up again until I got that. This dragon here is one of the ones that I made with masonry cement and the kids hit it a couple of times with a sword and uh, cracked it and then the water got in it froze and busted. That one is like at least 10 years older than this one was and this one's been trashed for a couple so of years. So you're going to be fixing it sometime. I will fix it at some point. And this is what? What garden is this? This is the cactus garden. Um, it's got a lot of cacti in it. The cacti took a big hit this last uh, winter. I don't know why, but they did. And then there's the little fairies and stuff up in there. That's the fairy glen. The fairy grotto. Yeah, the fairy grotto. And you can see those glass ashtrays. Those glass ashtrays actually send light in about this time of day. And then... Uh, and then the little men at the top, they, they, they need to be repaired, but I made those too. Don't get a picture of the cave in the storm shelter yet. We'll use that for a different one. Alrighty. But like if you if you pan around here, you can see, you know, there's just different stuff that I picked up at yard sales or that people gave us. And it's just all stuck in there. Some of them are very significant. Um, this is Zeb's block that actually has his birth date on it. And this is actually a jar that he had baby food in when he was a baby. And then this is Roland's block and it has his birthday on it. And then underneath right here is Zeb's handprints. And these are Rose handprints. So pretty good. That's from when Tracy Lewis went to Hawaii. Different things. It's kind of my, my friend, uh, Suzette Hayden Nelgen, who uh, wrote the, um, the art of... Um, the gentle art of the verbal self-defense. The gentle art self of ver verbal self-defense. She once said, you know, Selena, some people just make quilts. <laughs> but at um, any rate, so this is from when Lynn and I got legally married. And, of course, I wrote that there because otherwise I won't remember. <laughs> You know, so this, and then different ones have different meaning. Um, some of them are memorial blocks. This is Mark Shepard's memorial block. Um, this is Denny's memorial block. That's John's. That's Katie's. Where's Michael's? Michael Sheard's is here somewhere in the same block, but I'm not seeing. Yeah, there's Michael's right there. So, and so that's, like I said, it's just a done. And then, um, like these are trips like when we went to Magic Kingdom with the kids, Daytona Beach with the kids. This is the one I'm still working on. It's not finished yet. I'm actually doing it. It's taking a little longer because I'm not only decorating the outside, I'm decorating the inside as well. Because this one's actually going to have a roof in it when I get it finished. Um, and that's one of those things we'll see how it works. But this is why this place is called Castle Farm. And yes, it's all garbage. 
And what do you want, Deb? You want to say hello? I want to say not to get a picture of this, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> we shall not see. No, because we can do another it whole episode on the cave in the in the site. So. And yes, these are cannons. No, they don't actually work. But you know what? The neighbors don't know that, so don't tell them. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you just yelled that out. They probably know by now. No! <laughs> Damn it, Zap! <laughs> Until next time, don't be a 